Good morning, Kuala Lumpur. My goodness, it's been too long since I've made a video here. You can see we got the Patronus Towers just right here, view from the window. We are uh, in Four Seasons. Just got checked in my room. Want to bring you all along with me. But you know, I don't come to Malaysia to stay in hot, nice hotels. Yes, that's a perk, but I come here to eat. So let's go ahead and show you this room. We're going to get out there and we're going to eat, 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 eat. If these pants right here still fit me when I leave Malaysia, I didn't do Malaysia right. That's my rule of thumb. So here we go. Got upgraded uh, with my Amex card. Got some benefits, but I'm probably not going to have time to use them because we're going to be out eating. First thing you noticed, boom, nice. Ooh. Ooh, it's kind of like got this firmness to it, but I feel like my butt be sinking into it too. Oh, yep, that passes the suffocation test. If your pillows can't suffocate you, well then they ain't soft enough. I uh, got almost like a little reading area here. Got an iPad for just ordering food or booking the spa, or maybe just you want to learn about the hotel and what all they got, the pool, fitness center. Um, probably gonna need that. <laughs> while I'm here. I mean, the service was so nice checking in. And I like how roomy it is. There's just so much space. I mean, look at this. This is more, I mean, this is more space than anybody would need. Like, see, I got like, it's like one max is across. But then you kind of walk into the bathroom, I guess like vanity area, and look front and center right here, coffee mini bar tiger beer let's go one of my favorite beers tiger beer acai singtao uh, chong i mean those are just four of the many delicious beers you get in asia uh pretty typical i don't know if these i'm sure the water's free don't know about the snacks what else we get anything good chocolate on chocolate but this is always going to be charged which again man credit card you travel a lot Got them benefits with this hotel, got $100 credit, so I could eat $100 worth of snacks and still be free for me. Free. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this stuff's kinda the boring stuff for y'all. I know you what y'all really want. Y'all want the bathroom. And yes, it is nice. Nice, clean, chic. Seems upscale, but not too upscale. That sounds kinda a little bit pretentious, but I think you know what I mean. Um, bath salts. If you got a, if they give you the bath in the hotel, they don't give you the bath salts. They're doing it wrong. Kind of small, kind of low. Looks like I'm going to fall getting out of this. Like I'm gonna try to get out. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna hit my head, and that's how I'm gonna die. But you know, could be worse ways. Got two doors. Door to my right. Door to my left. Where do we go? Left. Okay. And that's what you get. You went left. You got the toilet. Oh my gosh. This looks like a Tesla car. I mean, look how sleek and designed this is. It looks like a Tesla. What brand is this? Kohler? Oh, thought it was, oh man, I think I almost broke it. Yeah, so I think you're supposed to, let's get into the, uh, you know, in the airplane they say, let's get into the cockpit. What should it be when you get in the bathroom? Because I feel like cockpit sounds a little dirty when you're in the bathroom. You know, you're in an airplane, cockpit doesn't sound dirty. You go to the bathroom, you say you go into the cockpit. Uh, you start to wonder like, hey, what you doing in there? Anyways. Got the control center here. Got seat temperature. Oh shoot! What's going on? Oh, it flushed on me. I was I was scared the bidet was about to get my pants wet. It looked like I peed my pants. But you ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Billy Madison. So you got front rear bidet. Tell it to stop. You got a dryer for your behind. Uh, clean. I don't know what that does. You can up the pressure. Change the wand. It can spiral, massage, full flush, full flush, eco. Okay, I'm so tired of this. It keeps flushing on me, so I feel like I'm just sitting here wasting water. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's a remote. It's a remote. Oh my gosh, it's a remote. I can do this. Hold on. Let's see how far away it works. Oh my gosh. I could be taking a shower. Can I do this from the bedroom? Let's see if it works. Okay, cover. I'm literally at my bed. I'm at my bed. And the seat closed. Up. That seat, I wanna pee. Pee. 
Okay, I'm done. <laughs> technology is so cool. You can you tell I'm from the country? Man, I'm a country boy. I ain't used to all this technology. Oh, that's so cool. You don't want to have cold hands because it can affect the grading scale that I give to the toilet paper when you touch it. You won't get a true touch to feel, so warm the hands up a little bit. Yeah, let's do a little rip test. Okay, you see that? That is nice, pliable, thick, because you can see the layers. You can see it's a little thinner here because I got it in half and a little thicker here. 4.1 out of 5. It's a good score. Solid score. Very good score. That's that's a very top tier score. Do you really care about the fanny kit you get? Because I don't really. Um, dental kit, that's all I care about. And then this just must be the shower. Oh, cool. Coming from the ceiling. A little anti climatic but that's okay. And then finally, more hangers than you'd ever need because I only have like two nice shirts. And then all my stuff, slippers. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up for the room tour. I'm, oh, these are nice plushy slippers going to get ready. I got to do some work because I didn't really expect to film much today, but time is too short not to go out and eat. So I'm going to take you for one meal that I always eat when I first get to Malaysia. So nice. Now this is like one of the meals I eat the first time I ever come back to Malaysia. When I was in Penang, I was there maybe two weeks and I ate like 11 of this dish. It's called Nasi Kandar and one of my favorite dishes in the world and I'm going to place that it wasn't the first one I think I ever ate but it was one of those there are so many one reason I love coming to Malaysia and eating especially like Kuala Lumpur and Penang is there's so many options for places you can eat certain dishes and while it's not the correct timing like an ideal timing for having this meal I'm excited because they are open right now and we can get in here so we're at Yasim's right here in KL one of the best known Nasikan daughters in all of Malaysia. Not even being peak time though, they still got a plethora of food you can choose from. I may have to get the ayam goreng. Uh, what else we get here? Oh, the sotong looks good. I think they got a little star rating showing you what people rate them. Oh, they lower sotong, so they got the eggs. Okay, I am some ball. We got to get the lady fingers. I may do something crazy like telur goreng or something like that. Hey, boss, how are you? Can I do the I am sambal? I am sambal this? Yes, yes. The yeah, and then can I do a telor goreng? Okay. And eat here. Eat here. And do you have lady fingers? Uh, right, let me get lady fingers. Okay. And then can I get a bonjour? Okay. Yeah, that means like at all, right? Okay, perfect. Thanks, boss. I'll grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it all. Oh, yeah, they're the lady fingers over there. And so when you say like bonjour, bonjour, uh, that mixing? yeah, 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 it makes like flood, right? Ah. Okay, it's like the flood, so they take all those curries and put on there. See, look at that right there. How do you get a Friday? Yeah, Taylor Goreng. Yeah, how do you get Friday? Perfect. Do I pay here or pay over here? Okay, yeah, can I do a Tay Tarek? This is what I, oh man, look at that. Thank you, boss. We good to go? Thank you. So I like getting here because you can tell people like, thanks boss. It's very like kind of respectful. Kind of a thing they do in Malaysia. Oh, here we go. Hey boss, how are you? <laughs> hey. Good, right? Delicious. <laughs> so I got a Tay Tarik. I think I'm going to get it hot because I forgot to tell him to bring it to me. Cold hot's okay. I like hot Tay Tarik. Which is just that pulled tea, right? Tarik means the pool. Oh, it's been too long. Typical kind of restaurant like this, you got like the almost like aluminum chair, so it's gonna hit that concrete or the flooring. Or, oh, a scraping sound. You got the fans going everywhere. You can hear the full blast of the fans. But this is the environment you want to be in when you come eat nasi kandar. Let's move over this way. Just respect some people. Get the camera going this way in case they don't want to be in the background. And I gotta wash my hands. Thank you, boss. Sorry. Uh, USA. USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. Thank you. You have the. Uh, Papadon? Papadon. Can I do Papadon? Thank you. Ooh. I, I can't even, I'm so lost track. 
of everything because everything just looks so good to me. Man, let's get it. So, only one way to eat this, with your hand. Come here, experience it with your hand. Just use your hand, it's gonna taste better. So it's kind of hard because I've ordered so much stuff. You want to work it around. I'm trying to make a spot to be able to work with my rice, but it's almost kind of hard because I got so much on my plate. I know people love fried chicken, but when you put that like, it's called a chicken like sambal, right? But to me, it's got that tanginess to it. It's just a spicy, sour tanginess to it that I really love to mix with all of these like curry sauces. Like I said, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's just glistening, glistening with flavor. It's not just the heat for me. That sour that makes you pucker. I'm sorry, y'all. Even for 3 p.m., pretty busy, pretty packed. Family of kids, babies crying. But again, this is the experience. You wouldn't want it any other way. You want it loud, you want it intense. If the food's gonna be intense with flavor, you want your environment to be intense with flavor as well. And when you've graduated Nasi Kandar school like I have, you gotta get the pumping on with it. Just that little bit of crispy crunchiness. But I just like to eat with the rice. There's that egg, super fried. I just like to break this up and get it in here and get it mixed in with the rice so you get like these hidden, greasy, soaked little egg piece bites. It sounds ridiculous, but it's insanely delicious. Fun fact, I've never not cleaned a plate of Dossi Kandar. Let me wash hands so I'll show you how to pay. That's what my plate should look like. He had more stuff than me. I should have ordered more stuff. And right over here is your hand washing station. So after you finish eating, just take your number up here. We'll give it to him with the right hand. Don't use your left hand, use your right hand to give things money, this, whatever. Uh, we'll give him this and he'll give us our total. Hey boss, how are you? Good. The YouTube channel. Yeah, man. YouTube. Daily Max, yeah. Daily Max. <laughs> uh, all good people here too. So funny. Got you, brother. What's your name? Umar. Umar. Uh, Card or cash? Cash. Cash, cash, cash only, okay. Yeah. I'll have to break the 50 then. Wow, 15, 30 so. That is a meal under $5. They got the popping on everything. So my plate was about 11, almost 12. I'm gonna take that egg to pop it on. That's insane. Got that meal is under $4. Thanks boss, Terima kasih. Bye bye. Oh, oh, I feel like I don't know how I feel. Honestly, I'm kind of sad because I feel like my eating skills have gone down. When I first came to Malaysia and I was in Penang, I could eat Nasi Kandar twice in one day. That's right. Pick yourself back up from the floor. That's right, I could eat two Nasi Kandar in a day. Now, that will probably hold me pretty good. <laughs> I still feel like I should have got one more thing for my plate that would have been perfect. That place is still amazing. Uh, there's about five that I would go to in KL. I'm sure there's more, but five that I know of. And I'm back here to explore and eat. Let's keep moving it on though, that was good. But I gotta, I gotta taste, gotta cool down, eat something sweet. My, my lips, my mouth on fire, I'm on fire. I'm too hyper. Let's move it. Oh, it's starting to rain on us. Y'all, so we came out to like Star Pack Point. We're like way out here. Um, just because I came for some chintal, not any type of chintal, but chintal durian. Uh, Runtu. They have one in Chowkit, but for some reason this one had like way more ratings and everything. So I decided to come out here. See, they even say like Chowkit, but this one had more ratings. And this is like when I looked at blogs, they said to come this one. I have no clue why, but let's get some chintal. Uh, so yeah. Pretty much you have chintal, right? But we're going to get the durian in it. Okay, so they got hello. No, you're okay. How are you? Did I order chindal here? Yeah. Can I do the chindal uh, durian musang king? Yeah. Perfect. We have promotion now. Okay. Before, 36, now 28 only. Okay, can I do here. eat here, please? Have it here. Yes, please. Okay. Oh man, 28, that's pretty good. I haven't had musang king in so long. Oh, so they got a different type as well. Oh, we, uh, tikka. 
So there's like over 300 varieties of durian in Malaysia. Uh, when I had to compare between Thailand, Malaysia, and like Vietnam, Indonesia, I love Malaysian durian. So they let it ripen in fall before they harvest it. Oh, sorry, you need 28. <laughs> There's 50. Is this the same as the one in Chao Kit? Yes, before, oh, okay. before. Before, yeah. and now here. Now here. Okay, yeah. perfect, that's why. Now I was looking, I was like, I knew it used to be in Chao Kit. I was like, why can I not find? You, no. We already moved uh, here about four, four years. Four yeah, it's years. been it's been that long, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, and there right here. So you got your coconut milk, right? This is the chindal with the coconut milk, and then they got the pandan. I kind of want to call them jellies, but I feel like jellies is not a good translation. Oh, look at that. So there's their ice in there, and they should have the gula. I think most people, gula, like palm sugar, I think the most famous would be like gula malacca, so like gula from malacca. Oh, look at that right there. And he's got like a little sweet corn mixture on theirs as well. Oh, and here's where the gula is. Okay, you Okay, perfect, thank you. So everything answered, that's why. It used to be the one in Chao Kit, now it moved. That's why I couldn't find it on the map. I was like, man, I knew it used to be in Chao Kit. It's been so long. You heard her, it moved four years ago. I'm disappointed in myself, just as you are. I still kind of want to eat more. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, thank you. Oh, nice. And this has uh, gula in it? Huh? It has gula or arin? Arin, okay, thank you. Oh, you can smell that Busan King right here. I like the colors. I like to use a vibrant green bowl and they know like the Musang King, the durian is gonna be, well, if you get the Musang King, it's gonna be like, like that vibrant yellow, really pleasing to the eye. Our timing was impeccable. It's raining right now. So you get the clouds, it's cool. And then I'm about to have a nice cold chindal. So I think I do need to clear some things up because I was like hyper and talking a lot. But they have the gula. They have, there's, again, like I was talking about, there's different types of gula, right? They probably don't use a gula malacca because we're in KL, probably more like a gula arin which I would guess they would use in the chindal. And the actual chindal is not the coconut. It is the green things in here, the little jellies. And what makes me not want to call them a jelly is, is because you make them from rice flour. And so, I, I don't know why, I don't think of a jelly as made from rice flour. Anyways, too much rambling, more eating. I mean, this is the best when you get that almost like slushy texture out there. I think the reason they become famous is just how well, I mean, the little, mm, the pandan jellies are good, but to me, it's all about that coconut milk. I don't even think you can call it a milk because it's so fatty, so rich, so creamy. It's almost like coconut cream. Mm, and it's not too sweet. Another thing I was really surprised about is I thought it was gonna be sweeter. I kind of want some more palm sugar, but maybe that would be a shame since you got all that durian in here. Actually, it's just my fault, didn't get it mixed up enough. You can see that coconut milk changing color. So that means that that palm sugar is getting in there. Don't get me wrong. There's not much better food experiences in life than going to the side of the street, going to a durian cellar, picking your durian, then opening it up for you, and you having it fresh. But when it's in Chindal, I love what they've done here. Oh, let me just double check. Yep, they've frozen the durian. I don't think it's just because it's been on top of the ice, but then you get like this durian ice cream, almost kind of like creamy mixture. It's almost kind of like a custard and durian ice cream in one bite. Cool. That's a pro time move right there. I don't know how to eat, don't you Photoshop this. I'm gonna have to eat this weird because I don't want y'all Photoshopping this durian like it's something else. Oh, it seems like it'd be impossible to get a brain freeze in the middle of the day in Malaysia, but I guess it isn't. Yes. Where do I need to put this? Over here. Oh, there you go. Thank you, sir. Very good. Just how I remember. <laughs> uh, nice people. I'm glad I found their stall. I'm glad to know this is the original one, the one you're supposed to go to. Now. I'm gonna tell you something, you may not believe me. The time in my life that I've been the fattest was when I stayed in Malaysia the longest. That is a pure fact. And maybe this is part of the reason too that I get fat here. They sent me chocolates. I feel like I can't, let's move over here, it's dark. 
Oh, man. I don't know. After Indonesia, if I'm ready to go into mystery chocolate mode again. So, let me see what the letter, what this is real quick. Um, I'm back because I was wrong with my card. I don't get $100 credit to the room, but I do get a free massage. And your boy's going to take that up. So, I'm about to go do that. And then I got to do some work tonight. So, I probably won't make it back out and do anything film worthy. I may just... Uh, Grab a little snack or eat something kind of small here. I want to be hungry for tomorrow because this video is not done. We're going to continue to do food, tour, hunting, whatever you want to call it in KL. Oh, wow, that was really good. Oh, creamy. Oh, it's like Bavarian cream. Actually, no, it's like powdered. Wow. Just powdered sugar, frosting stuffed inside white chocolate. Oh my gosh, too much. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy spa, get some work done. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I got a whole day lined up of food. We're gonna start early. We're gonna hit food coma. Then we're gonna get our second wind. We're gonna eat more food. And then we're gonna be have babies. <laughs> Malaysian food babies. Anyways, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Wow, I'm feeling good today. We're over near Chow Kit Market, going for a restaurant that I've really been thinking about for a while, thinking for the chili pan mi, a spicy, spicy noodle. Uh, I don't know if they're the originator of the chili pan mi, but I do believe they have lots of branches, and this is the original branch. Now, this is something that there may be better chili pan mi in KL, matters who you ask but for me it's the only one i've ever had and you know i'm a loyal person and it's something i've been thinking about and something i want to try since getting back here to kl now you can see it right here with the blue writing and then the chinese characters in red underneath it so it is a more of a lunch busy spot but i came here kind of in the morning so i don't miss with anybody We got lots of tables. We'll just grab one right here. Is that the one? Oh, here. Perfect. Oh, we gotta go to the single person table. See if we can get past the owner. Is it here okay? Ah, oh, perfect. Can I get a... Ah, oh, perfect. So they'll have a menu here. Pretty much just get a dry. Can I do the dry pan me? Perfect. Yeah, it's the And... Can I get a water to drink? Thank you. So pretty much your only choice really is do you want dry or do you want with soup? Oh wow, and they changed the price. That's how long it's been since I've been here. They've actually changed the price. Even just sitting here on the table, I can smell the fragrant chili oil to my right. Oh, I've missed this stuff so much. Thank you boss. And they crank them out here. It's almost like Malaysian fast food because there's really nothing you can order but like except that you want a dry or a soup they all come one size bowl now this is dry on me when we have the chili it becomes chili on me <laughs> look at this this is like a bucket of fried chili oil this is what i need at my home get a nice scoop of chili and just all over it and the best thing you can do to start off is take that poached egg and break it got that runny yolk which is God's given sauce, gonna go all over the scallions, all over the anchovies or the econ bilis, as they say here. And then of course you get the Hakka style fried pork. Well, I should say stir fried pork. Okay, finally get it all mixed in perfectly. Now nothing you can do but take a big old slurp and bite. This dish probably sounds like it's too much. It's like runny egg yolk, handmade, fresh, doughy noodles, stir-fried ground pork. But to me, the thing that bounces us out are the ikambilis. They're crunchy, they're salty. Mm. A little bit of fishy brininess. It really bounces the heavy components of this dish. But even if it is too much for you, you got a nice little side soup here. Man, it just cleanses the palate. The fragrant stir-fried 
pork, just that, that smokiness, that like wake, the way the ingredients have kind of caramelized on the pork, adds such a depth of flavor to this. Do they not sell that chili oil? I can't believe they don't just like give you buckets. You should be able to buy a bucket of this and take home with you. They would at least have one customer in me. I promise you the further you work down in this bowl, the better it gets. That's what you want right there, the bottom bite. A job well done by me, if I do say so for myself. Oh, you know already. <laughs> there you go. He was ready for me. I didn't even have to say anything. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, got her change. Let's go. So it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty standard. The hit back up in here is where they'll do all the preparation work. So they'll blend your noodles real quick. You can see the fresh noodles in the yellow bucket. Maybe y'all can't, but still good after four years you know it is kind of like a come in get out not a lot of talking or anything but that's fine sometimes you just need a big mouthful of doughy delicious noodles and that's what you get there so we're actually like i said near chowki let's walk around let's try to work up a little bit of appetite because i'm feeling nasi lamak next and if we're going to eat big and we're going to overeat we're going to have to work some of it off so let's walk around the market see if we can get it get our hands into anything Smells like wet market and chaos. So we're in the meat section. I'm gonna go this way because I'm not gonna buy any raw meat and take it back to my hotel and cook it in my room. So it makes no sense to go down that way. Ah, right, here we go. So now you got more of the food stalls. People made, making Merkabak here. People selling little fried bananas. Uh, looks like a Rojak. Ooh, Rojak always sounds nice. This is what I was looking for. Ah, we got the fruits and stuff over here. Legendary stink beans. You can get a like a dollar shirt here. Five is like a dollar twenty-five actually. This stuff. You get the full outfit for your kid for like two dollars. <laughs> about took down the prawn crackers. And if you take them down, you gotta buy them. Wow, maybe come here before you eat because you got to squeeze between so many people. You see the fruits, they just keep going on forever. It's like a mixture of locals bargaining for their morning fruits and tourists taking pictures and vlogging. Got some beautiful looking mangoes here. This is one of the reasons Malaysian food is so good. Can you look at this just vibrant produce here? Right in city center too. Hey, hi. What's up? What do you got? Mango? What mango is this? This is from Malaysia. Nice. From Malaysia. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he knows how it works. Give a sample, then you're going to try it and you're going to want to buy some. Oh, well, sit up. I'm good. One kilo? Five ringgit? Ringgit? Mm. Are these the same or different? Same, same. All the same. Are these. More sour though? Sour. Oh, and this is sweet. Sweet mango. Sweet mango. Okay, how much for one kilo? One kilo. One yeah. Kilo Can I try one kilo? One kilo. Can. Satu kilo. One kilo. Right? Oh, he gave me sample. I have to do him. Oh, this one. Yeah, he gave me sample. You try this one? Sweet, ready to eat. Is this one kilo? Okay. Uh, it's more, yeah, looks good to me. And this is why samples work. Give me just one little sample and now I want to buy. <laughs> Let's give him his five rigmet. From? USA. USA. Okay, USA. Okay. So just okay. okay. <laughs> is this five? Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, terima kasih. Okay, terima kasih. Uh, sama, sama. Sama. Uh, no, just speak a little, speak a little, speak a little. <laughs> Man, he got me with the samples. I knew somebody was going to get me a sample and it ends up getting you. Every time. Every time samples work. 60% of the time, every time. Oh, and it looks like we could have done better. Could have got one kilo for four and a half. Ring and ring them. I got mango already. <laughs> could have got it for four and a half kilo. But that's why that guy was almost sold out and the other guy wasn't, I think. Given the samples, people buying. Got a guy selling rings. 
out of the back of his car. Go find your size, and he's gonna beat it down to that size. In Malaysia, y'all don't do street food stalls. Y'all do street food establishments. Would you look at the size of this thing? I mean, this lady's got just an array of food and drinks, and she probably sells all day, but I mean, that thing is bigger than restaurants I've eaten in, in Malaysia before. <laughs> Massive. How do y'all ever decide where to eat in Malaysia? There's just so much good looking food that I don't know how you'd ever know. I just Google. Honestly, if I walk past another drink stall, I'm going to go crazy. Like I need something to drink here. Hello. Can I have a drink? Can I get a drink? Yes, okay, can I do the soya chin chow? Yeah, I gotta get the chin chow because it sounds like xin chow in Vietnamese. <laughs> is this just soya? Soya, soya, soya and this is soya chin chow? Soya chin chow, chendol, coconut. Oh, this is coconut. And this is uh, which one? Chendol. Oh, chendol. Yes. Okay, yeah, let me try the soya chin chow. One. one, please, satu. I've never had the soya chin chow. It's a little sugar here. Then comes the ice. How much for one? Three ringgit. Three ringgit. And see, I can't stop here because you can see all his coconut here. Is it okay if I drink it over here? Yes. Uh, perfect. This way, this way, both okay. <laughs> he said it's all good. Drink first or pay first? Drink or pay? Okay, let me go ahead and pay. There's one, two, there's three. Okay, okay. And, or sorry, that's two, sorry. <laughs> I have one more. And then okay. there's number three right there. Okay, okay. Okay. Sama -sama. Oh, look at this right here. <sighs> so I got out of Chow Kit Market because it's hot over there. If you go more eastbound and cross the street, look, you get all the trees. It's so much cooler here. I just saw this bunch of coconuts and drinks. So I want to stop here and just get a little something. Now I've had soya, pechen dal, all the coconut, everything, but I've never had the soya ching chow. And I keep saying it like ching chow in Vietnamese. Ooh. I think I could have crushed that whole thing. To me, it does still taste like a soya milk drink, but it's got a little bit I think the ching chow are the actual little black pieces in here. How do you eat them? My straw's too small and the jellies are too big. Mm. No, I got them. Kind of flavorless, honestly. Oh, it just hit me. The ching chow, it's, uh, it's like grass jelly, isn't it? That's exactly what it is. I drink this all the time in Vietnam. <laughs> oh, he just got the soya with the gula. I bet you I could have got this with the gula. I got the white sugar, but to me, gula over white sugar every time, all the time. All right, I'm feeling like a new person. Just got a notification on my phone too that I made the 10,000 steps already today. So I thought, Hey, let's reward myself. Let's eat some nasi lemak. So we're gonna head to Village Park. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Everybody knows, every vlogger, including myself, has filmed at Village Park. But I wanted to do another hyped nasi lemak. So we're over here, and we're just a little bit away from it. But we're gonna go to Wanjo. So I really hope this isn't another overhyped nasi lemak, because I remember doing Village Park. Everybody gave me such a hard time. But we're dying in, so we'll go in here. Hello. Can I get some nasi lemak? Okay. So they got all different types of toppings here. They got the sambal, the ikan bilis, cucumber. Oh, they got tempeh. Got like another type of tempeh, I do believe with uh, coconut. Can I do an egg? With the telur goreng. Oh, is this, what is this, ayam? Sweet and sour. Uh, sweet and sour, okay. And this is ayam goreng. And this is. Oh, rendang. What's number one? 
the which one's number one? Which one do you like? Can I do the Okay, can I do this one, sweet and sour? Are you okay? Yeah, perfect. Yeah? Uh, I think that's good. I think that's all I need. I got the egg, the sambal y cambiles. What is this, beef? Ah, uh, can I try just little? Little piece. Okay. okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, they filled me up. And they'll get some of that extra sauce. Cool. Pay first. Bring this here. Oh, yeah, drink here, but do I get okay, juice over there? Different it's different, right? Separate, separate. Okay, separate. I'll go get that later. Seventeen uh, eighty. Can I use cash? Can you, can you the cash? Uh, I need to use cash. Thank you. Okay, grab our stuff and get out of the way. We're holding up the line. Let's go back here with the workers. All right, so like she said, the juice in there is different. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. I'm fine. Uh, so they got all different types here. Where's the mango? There it is, mango. Can I do one mango smoothie? One mango smoothie. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that was fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was easy. Hold on. Let me... Right. Seven. Seven. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. You had it already. There's ten. Uh, sama, sama. When you know you got them ready, made to go like that, then you know this has to be the number one seller. Ooh, okay, got the hands washed. So it's kind of awkward. I didn't know like if the fried chicken, the sweet and sour, or the chicken uh, rendang was the most popular. So I was like, what's your best seller? Did not understand me. <laughs> so I ended up just getting the sweet and sour. And then she's like, anything else? I'm like, I thought I had a lot. But she's like, keep getting more. I'm like, okay, we'll do it. Let's try the mango smoothie. One of the favorite fruits, mango. Or come here and get a smoothie alone. Mm. Like there's a little bit of yogurtiness from it, but really it's just a lot, a lot of delicious, sweet mango. That needs a second sip. So let's talk about it. Nasi Lama. The literal translation I love because the literal translation would be fat rice. But you're supposed to interpret it as like rich or creamy because the rice is cooked in coconut cream and maybe not every time, but usually with pandan as well. And that aromatic component. And to me, fat rice just symbolizes how I feel after I eat Nasi Lama, like a piece of fat rice. <laughs> and then the rest, as you saw, it was up to us to choose. The reason I got the sweet and sour is I could not resist that glistening red sauce. And they do give you fork and spoon to use, but the only way I like to eat nasi lemak is with my hand. It is a little harder though, because the sambal of nasi lemak is a little stickier. It's got a little more sugar in it when compared to other sambals I've had. Love the fried egg, extra crispified. My problem is like, it's just cold and they've got a lot of plates kind of ready to go. The chicken, first bite was a little dry, but when I work down here into the middle of it, it starts to get some nice juicy pieces. Mm. Let's try to get it with some of the boiled egg though, right here. Show that beef out. It's okay, nothing special to me. Like again, nasi lemak. Sometimes it's just best in its simplest form. Egg, sambal, ikambilis, and really good lemak rice wrapped in a banana leaf. Not bad. Um, definitely not my favorite. Too sweet, meat's a little too dry. But you know what? Having the nasi lemak, it's better than not having nasi lemak. I've not had nasi lemak in years. And those were very, 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 very dark times in my life. The shake though, the shake is a must. Okay, now just one more thing, cause I am feeling bad. I do wonder too, if it's cause nasi lemak, more traditionally eaten for breakfast. So maybe it's fresher during breakfast. It just felt like there was this like freshness missing, but that's okay, you know. They clearly have plenty of customers and employees. They're gonna be fine. Just because just it doesn't hit what I want doesn't mean all those people in there don't love it. Whew. I used to could eat Malaysian food 24 seven. 
Now I'm, I'm feeling like a rookie. I'm, feel, I'm starting to feel full. And I don't like, I don't like feeling that way when in Malaysia because I just want to keep eating. Oh no, y'all missed it. And you can't, I can't walk in the road. Hold on, I'll show you. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Uh, he collects cans and his bag ripped and he lost all his cans. I'm gonna try to help him clean some of this up. Give me a second. You want help? <laughs> oh. Let's get him out of this lane for him real quick. Look, everybody's coming here to help him. Less vlogging, more picking up. We'll wash our hands later. Check it out. Oh, he's got two holes. He's got one here and one here. I wish it was like a 7-Eleven. You could buy a bag. Lisa got him all out of the road now. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Oh, man. He's going to put it here, go get a bag, I think, and then come back. That hit home to me because I've been going to scrap yards selling cans my whole life. Well, not me, my dad. But anywhere we went, anytime you saw a can on the ground, you pick it up. You gather as many cans as you can, you take them to the scrap yard, and you sell them for money. So I understand what that man's doing. So seeing something like that, knowing when he's making, you know, pennies, hard labor, making not much money, you know, and then you see something unfortunate like that happen to him, man, you gotta step out there, you gotta help him. Cause, you know, nobody, not many people wanna do that, but he's doing whatever it takes to make some money. So definitely when you see people going through hard times like that, step up, help them out. all right cleaned up and everything now we gotta head to another part of town and believe it or not the place we're at and the place we gotta go actually connects with the metro system in kl doesn't always happen because it is spread out but we are lucky and we got a little opportunity here kampung baro we're gonna take the lrt and head on down south where are the tickets okay here we go coins only okay all these are going to be coins and notes nothing takes card english i think we need this one where are we maybe red aha uh -huh. 1.8 so 180 cents not cents ringgit but what would i don't know what you would call less than one ringgit that's a good question what's going on here oh man it's not taking it you know what we'll try another machine please take my money <laughs> what is going on here we're just gonna go over here and get it. Hello, can I get one to Basar Sini? One, two, Four, three, 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 and five, okay? I gave you five. Yes, then you get five. Oh, and then I go over there and do. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, so can't use the five, okay. Oh, I was like, I gave you five, a free ride? I take a free ride. Let's try it again. Chances this works. I must have a broken machine. It worked for this guy, so it's gonna work for us. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, this, this transportation is gonna take 10 minutes. It took me 20 just to get a, a token because I don't know if I'm in a food coma or what's going on. Thank you. I didn't know people still played Clash of Clans. I played that back when I was like 
19. To the right, to the right, everything you own on the track to the right. All right, we got another seven minutes, which I feel like is pretty fast for a uh, KL Metro. It's usually about 10 minutes per train from what I've seen and what I've taken. Hey, you better get out faster. You're gonna miss your turn. That was good. That was worth the money just for the AC alone. Ooh, I feel like a popsicle. So I was down in Chinatown and I was like, meh, kind of just don't want to be in Chinatown. I want to explore different areas. The reason I went to Chinatown is because I used to live in Hong Kong, so I love clay pot rice. It seems like the most popular place is Hung Ki here. But the problem is it's Thursday and they're closed on Thursday. So I was like, well, I'll go to Hong Ki in Chinatown. And then I went to Chinatown and said, hmm, I want to explore somewhere else. So I came to another part of KL, which I've never really explored because they have clay pot rice down here too. Now we're lucky. I thought this place opened at four. I just talked to the nice owner lady. She said, we can start early. She said, go ahead and place an order. They're starting early today. So we're going to get our uh, clay pot rice even sooner today. Unless I get hit by a car, then that means no, no, no clay pot rice for me. Hey, you want the order? Uh, you want one uh, for two person or one person? One person, please. Okay. Yeah. So inside the ingredient is a uh, chicken mm -hmm. and a uh, Chinese sausage uh, what? and a uh, salted fish. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Pizza guys, I think. I need a chicken. Mm, and can I get a stir fried? Do you have a popular stir-fried vegetable? Yeah, over here. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me do the bok choy. Oh, actually, let me do this one. I like this, this one. one. Yes. This one, huh? Sato api chicken. Thank you so much. Okay. Is it okay if I film him cooking? Yeah, can you get his hands over? You uh, take, 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 take. Okay. So, so order already, huh? Yeah, order already. Yeah, you want to sit? Uh, I will sit here. Okay. So here's where they got all their ingredients. They got the chicken, they got the Chinese sausage. Looks like they got some scallions here ready to go. And he's getting it going. You can tell he's got all these little charcoal pits here. And he's got like 25 or 26 right here. I wonder how many he can actually cook at once. Oh, hot. <laughs> So what he's got and how he's gonna do it is the actual little clay pots, right? We have the uncooked rice here. He'll have some water here. He'll put in the rice, put in the water, put it over the coals, let it cook and kind of steam and get going, kind of like a traditional rice cooker almost. <laughs> and then what he'll do is add his toppings. So he's gonna let the rice cook some and then he's gonna add his toppings. Uh, I don't know what this one is right here. It almost, I'm gonna guess maybe like a little, I think it's too much liquid for like a vinegar, but it's definitely got a lot of garlic in there. You can see the garlic's been almost got fresh and cooked down garlic. My question is like, what's the method of remembering how long something's cooked? How do you remember? I, I mean, it's gotta be a line system, right? I've always been curious how they remember, how they know, like each is walking off, right? Just another day, you're walking off. <laughs> I'd forget things instantaneously, but I have ooh shiny syndrome starting to figure out his system a little bit here. But this is why it's important to get here early because once you place your order, be ready to wait up to an hour. It can take a long time, especially when busy. Man has to have hands of steel. Uh, I can make for you a beer or something else? Yes, I would love a beer. A beer, do you want? Yeah, beer. Can I do a tiger beer? I yes, please. <laughs> I love this lady, she's so sweet. Uh, you knew I wanted the big one. <laughs> the glass, you want a big one? No, it's okay, small is okay. 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 So you have to pay for this one first, huh? Okay, how much is it? 20. 20? 
No problem. Got 20. Last ten. Two of them. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, after 24 hours, this is the last stop of the 24 hours. Woo. Gorgeous. Very interesting because again like I'm just comparing things to Hong Kong. But yeah, I would like add it myself and put the lid back on and like wait and let that rice create that crispiness, right? That crispy coating on the outside. Oh. Twenty-three. Pay now. <laughs> Okay, it's a pay before you eat, which makes sense. It would be easy to eat this and take off. Did I pay you for this? No, I'm sure you pay for them. Okay, so I paid them. Okay. Yeah, got it here. Yeah. There he is. 23. 23. Thank you. I don't know. Do you, I mean, maybe Chinese descent. I say I'm Boy Sai, or what do you say? You know? I'm gonna mix mine up. Looks good. Look good. Still hot. Yeah, I need to stir more. Do you eat this? Yes, I do. You like it? But I walk in here, always I see. So normal, right? <laughs> For me, so special, right? <laughs> oh yeah, you can see those black, dark pieces. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. This is a chili. Yeah, I got the nice chili. Is it soy sauce? Uh, chili sauce. Okay. Chili. Put on a plate. Yeah. Cool down faster. You can eat it with light pot. You can eat it hot. Right. Yeah, it's okay. up to you. Thank you. You say, you say thank you. 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 In Malaysia. Oh, yeah. Everything I've been waiting for. Get a piece of chicken here with the Chinese sausage. And then right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Look, so hot. Oh, I got a lot of that salted fish. Actually, there's a huge bite of salted fish in there. I didn't even recognize it. Let's try it with some of the soy sauce and chili mixture as well. Trying to figure out how this is one person serving and where I'm gonna put it. This is what I want right here. Oh, you can feel the crispiness. That's what I've been looking for right there. That right there is what I want. No matter what culture, what country you go to, the burnt rice is always a prize piece for me. And this is what we like to call the money bite right here. You see how crispy burnt that is, that edge piece? That's what I live for. That's why I'm addicted to clay pot rice. I mean, he's cooking the rice perfectly, but to me, that ketchup mayonnaise, that sweet soy sauce, which is, I, I think that's what it is, I wish it was getting drenched around the edges so I'd get more of that crispy, crunchy soy sauce, sugar, crystallized, rice that's it for me that's what life's about i think you just need some green chilies it's great. yeah it's good it's a lot for one person yeah this one this one in fact is small <laughs> If you, if you want, if you cannot finish, you can pack it. I can pack? Okay, good to know. You want your family to eat more vegetables, blanch it, throw it in a wok with fried garlic and oyster sauce and oil. Mm. Trust me, you'll be happy eating all the vegetables in the world. Some of y'all call me crazy. Some of y'all call me a genius. But I'm stealing the garlic from my vegetables and putting it on my rice. Mm. Wow. Bitter, umami, salty, savory. Walk hay. That place had it all, and I've definitely overeaten. Can't stuff anything else in there. Been about 24 hours. 
Just 24 hours of overeating in KL, I guess. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. That lady in there is so sweet. Come see her, come say hi, buy a drink from her, and eat some good clay pot. Rice while you're here. All right, let's avoid that. Catch y'all the next one. Peace.